platforms has added 200 billion dollars to its market cap in just one day guys you can see here we're the seventh most valuable company in the world at 1.2 trillion up over 20 percent on friday means we were just at 1 trillion ish flat on friday now 1.2 trillion and we made that 20 percent just 200 billion dollars added to the market cap what is going on here what's going on with the ta welcome back to the channel hope you're all enjoying your week and stay safe don't forget to leave a thumbs up let's get started guys this is an impulsive move i would be remiss not to mention that the bottom of this move was called by a jupiter pendulum shade flip right and so we had an impulsive move the last time we talked about meta was one of the first videos on this channel where i made the bull case for meta right here when we were testing this 10 week moving average for really the first time since you know we have an impulsive move we have weekly green tags and weekly on, on the jupiter orbit and weekly green tags on a jupiter pendulum right the pendulum was tied to red on the weekly on the way down right came up impulsive move you got your green dots and your green dots down here now the pendulum is tagged green increasing volume then we pulled back and we were testing the 10 week for the first time four minutes morning star pattern let's jump down to the daily time frame and we were talking about testing the 50 day moving average right here okay we talked lower time frame red you give it some more time kind of double bottomed eventually broke out here um out of this sideways range you know nice breakout here tagged green again in lower time frame retest the 50 uh some green shade over sold conditions go to the lower time frame and you have your kind of uh, setup there for your your entry right your divergent pendulum green shade flip okay so that's what it's looked like ever since then you know meta has been you know it's up over 50 percent just one of the best performers here of of the year of the bull market really right if you take meta from the bottom here you know this thing is up you know over 440 percent that's over 5x on your money which is insane right it's performed more than bitcoin more than most stocks and so what is fueling this growth and do i think it can continue yes i do right this is all-time highs for meta you can you, you draw your dash line like that first of all that's the sales number right accelerating sales right from from it got to a point where it was red here um they've done the restructuring and investment into ai restructuring of the data centers things like that um that we're going to talk about the meta quest and you know the red has this single digit uh, green low double digit into the 20 so accelerating revenues here right 27 billion in sales about two years ago to 40 billion in a quarter here very nice accelerating earnings as well again red from you know the quarter a year ago um comparison to the single the double digits into the triple digit earnings accelerations right five point five dollars and 33 cents earnings per share versus uh, you know just half of that just two years ago okay so you always want to see accelerating earnings and accelerating sales especially when you're making outside hands when you're doing very bullish things so big v-shaped recovery here nice cup and hand and you know, handle here in the green and we've broken out and then we've gapped up on earnings this could be a gap and go play i won't take a trade like this so extended you know 20 percent extended from the 10 uh the 10 day moving average or actually it's up here at this point 16 70 percent extended but it's so much nice volume fresh green tag on a daily time frame any pullback uh any consolidation any bull flag any pullback to the 10 day definitely interested in buying this thing can it keep going absolutely right it's at a 1.2 trillion the largest companies in the world are at a 3 trillion can large companies keep growing yeah there's no reason why meta can triple and match something like apple or microsoft in a few years in this decade right um and you don't need a, a triple right 200 gains right you you can trade it in and out you can you can hold for, for that if you want to you can get 30 percent, 40 percent gains right there's money to be made here even though it has such a large market cap right so meta you know you know healthy numbers which we've talked about and sorry about the background noise it's the baby back there Hel um, we know that meta is kind of the the company that has the most active users in the world right because they own many apps right they own facebook whatsapp instagram and now threads right and so between all of those and the numbers combined they have over 3.5 billion active users per day which is just absolutely insane so they kind of have the biggest reach as far as um as far as that uh, you know who they can advertise to who they can reach um in terms of you know you know secondary sales right you know for their active users extracting money uh, not in a bad way but extracting money right you, you sell the product like the phone but then apple makes a lot more money on the iphone right it's not just the, the, the initial sale right they have access to 3.5 billion you know monthly active users and so that's that's crazy messenger as well right then meta has the reality lab segment right the reality lab segment is formerly oculus right this is the vr headset the meta quest pro 
And that is, you know, it's not a profitable segment for them yet, though it is growing. They just crossed this quarter, um, one billion dollars in revenue for the first time. So that's that's a good sign. But it's still, it's it's a big operating loss, about a four billion dollar operating loss. So if that can, you know, fix itself over the next several years, we'll, we'll see how that develops. Um, they have the smart glasses, which I'm actually. I don't know if I'm more of a fan of, but I think the smart glasses are, the, you know, the Ray-Ban partnership, smart glasses that come with a Meta uh, AI. Um, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Look up Meta smart glasses. It's just crazy, right? You're, you're basically wearing these glasses with AI and you can speak to it. You can say, hey, Meta, what am I looking at? Hey, Meta, what, what's the weather going to be? And it's an AI. And it'll tell you what you're looking at. Like, you're looking at these books <laughs> and it'll tell you the books or whatever, you know, you can imagine where that's going to go with the AI integrated into that. Um, you can film directly and post to Instagram. You can live stream from the glasses, take a picture, uh, all with AI. So pretty interesting. I mean, you can imagine wearing that in school, taking notes, telling your AI to take a picture of the board or the professors or film the whole lecture. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so I think that's underrated. And we're going to see where the, where the whole face wear uh, hardware stuff goes in the next few years for the rest of the decade but if that can become a profitable segment for them that's going to be huge as well right because they're not really in the hardware side of things right if you think about facebook whatsapp and instagram it's all software users right and so if they can become more like a microsoft and apple where they have you know devices in users hands or on users faces <laughs> um that's what she said kind of uh, um, that's that's a whole other you know uh, growth factor for Meta. You can see increasing revenue right there, and so not much you know excellent fundamentals. You know, 60 billion cash on hand. That's that's great, right? So we all know the, the you know fundamentals look good, and the technicals all time high on volume. Green tech looks good, so that all looks good. Um, what else did they announce here in kind of the earnings report? Well, he, well, there's two big announcements. But before we get to that, here's kind of uh, you know the restructuring. In 2022, we initiated several measures to pursue greater efficiency and to realign our business and strategic priorities. And we have completed the data center initiatives and the employee layoffs and substantially completed the facilities consolidation initiatives. They want to be more engineering focused, more streamlined. And so this took part in 22, 23. And now that it's completed, we're starting to see the results, right? So we come to their deck right here. We can see the advertising revenue by geography, Q4 versus Q4 last year and a year before, 38 billion, right? Same thing we saw on the Amazon. Check out the Amazon video from yesterday. Now advertising, like I said, 3.5 billion users, um, they have the biggest reach as far as I can think of. And this is going to be a huge sector, right? Advertising, and they're starting to integrate shopping into everything, right? With Facebook shops, Shopify stores can now integrate directly into Instagram. It's, you know, it, it's, it's all like, you know, advertising is going to continue to grow, right? It's going to be probably the biggest market here for Meta. Uh, revenue by user geography, okay, so just revenue numbers up and to the right. Um, here's the Reality Labs crossing 1 billion for the first time, which is great, but again, 4.6 billion um, dollar operating loss, which is not what you want to see. Okay, we're, we're going to see that. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty bullish on that. Expenses as a percentage of revenue, you know, restructuring in 22, and now their cogs are, are coming coming on down, which is going to help their bottom line, which is exactly what's happened, right? Their their um, their net income is is skyrocketing, right? And this this led to two huge announcements. They announced a 50 billion dollars additional share repurchase program. So they're buying back shares, they're buying back stocks. This is in addition to the current program that they've already had previous 50, which they've already bought back 20 or 30, uh, it's 50 more, right? So it's like 80 more to come. And so buying back shares is bullish. It's the opposite of dilution, um, right? They're buying back shares there. Um, you know, the supply of stocks is, is getting smaller. Each one is worth more. So they're buying back shares. And they're buying back shares at all time highs, which, you know, usually you want to buy back shares when you think they're undervalued. But it's very arguable that Meta is actually undervalued, even at all time highs, okay? And we CapEx is coming down, so but they said in the earnings call that it's going to maintain, um, it's going to maintain at these levels for the next several years. Um, daily active people, so 3.2 billion. I've been saying 3.6, but above three, right? So monthly, okay, monthly active people, almost four billion over their kind of family of apps. So that that is huge, and Facebook alone over two billion, and so pretty neat stuff there for meta i wanted to quickly mention this this week there's a lot of fed um fed speakers unleashed right every day there's like a fed speaker um here here's one right here here is uh, loretta mester giving a keynote here is um, right, um thomas barkin giving another keynote etc so 
a lot of Fed speak this week, and so that could move the markets. Again, people after the latest FOMC last week are really looking for clues of when that first interest rate cut is going to come, right? Especially after the stronger employment numbers came in um, on Friday with the NFP. That's pretty much what I'm thinking for Meta. I think it's a, it's a nice long-term hold here because it's it's doing everything bullish, right? It's not only it's not only. Uh, bullish fundamentally it's bullish from a technical perspective and you know share repurchase program oh they also introduced a dividend i forgot to mention they had two big announcements with that stockpiling uh, that, that increasing bottom line after their restructuring more repurchase and they've introduced a dividend which is um is a 50 cent dividend actually and so a 50 cent dividend this is the, the forward rate it's supposed to this is the rate um it's supposed to be two percent um it's not two percent though but a 50 cent dividend they have introduced which is great because it's so small right 50 cents on a, on a 500 that they have and they have enough stockpile of assets and cash and short-term um cash that they can increase this dividend for years they, they can become a dividend grower right a dividend king eventually probably um which is pretty cool you don't see it's been anti silicon valley anti big tech to to pay out a dividend right they reinvest everything into growth the meta share repurchased and dividend very bullish um and, and a very small dividend be very conservative with it and they can become a dividend grower which now they're going to attract a whole new uh, kind of asset class of investors right investors who are dividend investors long-term holders um who invest in dividend growers and different fund managers that invest in that as well so a lot more capital can enter the stock so that's pretty pretty cool so that's the uh, two big announcements so everything is going bullish for meta i'm very bullish on the glasses we're going to see how the meta quest goes and how it competes with the apple vision pro at a much pricier 3.5 thousand versus the meta quest which i believe you can buy for five six hundred dollars um so a much you know much more reasonable price points there that's going to be an interesting battle to watch in the next several years that meta versus apple for for the face hardware right and a lot of stuff going on with ai i haven't mentioned that but you know always ai and metaverse they're kind of focused on integrating that everywhere and um you know i think this stock can continue to grow i would wait for a pullback like i mentioned but everything looks good so not much here in terms of specific chart setups here today um but very bullish i'm a buyer on all pullbacks i'm bullish on meta i'm bullish on on zuck so you get some hate i think he's still young he has a lot of time he's much younger than elon musk and i, I think his head is in the right place believe it or not and so i'm pretty bullish on everything that's going on here um all right guys much love thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one peace